we know that nba 2k and especially nba 2k 20 has been extremely shady this year but now they have people who work for the actual company deleting and covering up their tweets all right so before this video starts i want to make it very clear and very evident that this video is going to be a speculation video with that being said it does not mean that what i'm saying in this video is correct and i want you guys to understand that so to start this video off, I want to say that I'm not a big conspiracy guy. I'm not one of those people who goes around looking for conspiracies in the world. Like, for example, if something bad happens in the world, the first thing I don't do is try to think of a scenario of why it happened, not, you know, the reality of it, thinking of other ways to why it happened. Maybe people did something or whatever the case may be. You guys understand what a conspiracy is. Although I did take um, conspiracy theories in college, and it was probably one of my favorite classes I've ever taken in school. But nonetheless, I'm not one of those people who do that. I'm not one of those people who thinks everything in life is a conspiracy and everything's a simulation, whatever. If you think like that, that's cool. But I don't think like that most of the time. And I want to give you guys that heads up because I don't want you guys to think I'm like some psychopath or some crazy dude who's just trying to get views off crazy stories and things like that but i actually did some background information did some background research and i want to propose this conversation to you guys because i think it's a very very interesting conversation to have especially now with the new information that's came out so originally where this sparked from where my you know my idea or my interest whatever you want to call it really sparked from was from a tweet that i actually did a video on the other day so the tweet that i'm talking about is a tweet that ld tweeted at badge plug and i'll show you the deleted tweet but I want to show you my original tweet to what I said. So I tweeted out yesterday and I said, remember when a person at 2K willingly admitted that a billion dollar company refused to hire a community manager? Well, that tweet is now deleted, LOL. And I'll show you guys the screenshots of this tweet actually being deleted, which is weird because no one noticed this but myself. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'm the only one who really, you know, cares much about this situation. Maybe I'm the only person who really looks into it. But it was interesting because even Badge Plug himself didn't say anything. And he was... You know he was the guy that was involved in the tweet which was pretty interesting but nonetheless i just brushed it off because some people maybe don't look at you know older tweets whatever the case may be now before this video before i really start getting into the details of this video i want to say that ld2k is probably the person that i respect the most that works at 2k he has acted as a community manager even though he says here that he isn't a community manager he has given feedback to the community multiple 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 times but i would like to discuss something that is a little bit more bigger than just ld replying and this is this tweet right here so the tweet that he deleted was him saying i'm gonna go ahead and show the deleted tweet on your screen was him saying that they haven't hired a community manager since he left now originally when i looked at this i didn't think anything of it as you guys didn't either and then i watched a jack bill video and i went back to the tweet and i thought to myself okay this is really weird there is a guy who works for 2k he tweeted out actual factual things because he works at the company saying that nba 2k has not hired a community manager since ld's left no big deal whatever it's 2k you expect that right but listen to this so ld was a community manager his last day as an official community manager and a official staff member of 2k up until he rejoined it was november 15th 2017 i'll show you the tweet right here he made a whole reddit post and everything saying that it's been an awesome road here at 2k but i decided to move on and do something different now i actually i don't know if i i really want to even hint at this but i'm pretty sure i know actually what happened with that situation and i don't really know if it's all what it was portrayed to be but i'm not gonna get into that we'll get into that in in another video if, if this happens to you know blow up or whatever but this is 2017 november 15 2017 was the last time ld was an active community manager today is the month of february and it is 2020 it has been three years since a billion dollar company aka 2k has hired a community manager to work for 2k now something like that does not add up right it doesn't make sense to me it does not make sense to me at all three years since ronnie 2k not ronnie 2k i don't know i'm just always thinking about ronnie 2k i guess it's been three years since ld 2k has not been a community manager okay so i want you guys to keep in mind nba 2k 18 was released on september 15 2017 right 
so a couple months into nba 2k18 ld all of a sudden is in the community manager right doesn't really make sense but sure whatever so nba 2k18 easily one of the worst 2ks of all time all of a sudden they don't have a community manager right fast forward to nba 2k20 2020 they're still not a community manager what is what is going on what is what is the exact issue here that you guys cannot hire a 2k community manager so then i thought to myself i'm like okay why don't they just hire ld 2k so that brings me back to my original tweet why did ld 2k delete this tweet saying that nobody is a community manager for nba 2k20 and i started thinking i don't think that this is an issue with LD. I don't think this is an issue with him at all, obviously, but I think this is a bigger issue. It almost senses there's some sort of corruption going on with NBA 2K, and I'm not even joking. I'm being completely serious when I said this. Go look at all of LD's replies. He replies to everybody, right? He replied to people about the servers. He replied to people about issues in the game, and he always says that he's advocating, advocating for the issues in the game, meaning that he's sending over the information to 2K and they're gonna work on it whatever the case may be but but none of it ever gets worked on nothing anything that he's relayed to them has never been worked on and that's not ld's fault obviously but why is that the case why is nothing being worked on it is there like a bigger issue here at hand like are the people at 2k really this greedy and really this unaware of what's going on with your game i'm very very confused on what's going on on top of that one of the um executives at take two interactive which is like the um owner of 2k they own rockstar and they own 2k the longtime executive which by the way this guy's probably making a lot of money decided to just quit he quit all of a sudden he just stopped quitting and i'm not saying this has anything to do with 2k20 but we all know that nba 2k20 has had a terrible reputation right like it's been terrible they got bashed in their reviews well actually they didn't really get bashed in the reviews of like um magazines and stuff like that because they all get paid off they all get paid to review their games so nobody cares about that but user reviews okay youtubers content creators streamers everybody hates this game i'm not gonna say everybody but i'm gonna say 95 percent of the population hates nba 2k20 okay and then you got ld here who isn't a community manager replying to all of these tweets and saying that these things are going to be looked into whatever but they're never looked into nothing is ever looked into i, I like i'm not trying to you know hate ld 2k which i don't but why is nothing being listened to from ld and it's not like there's another community manager that you guys can listen to. So why is things that LD saying to these guys not going through? What is happening? What is actually going on? What is going on with 2K? What is going on behind the scenes? Because I think this is a lot bigger of an issue than a lot of you guys think. It's more than just the game not being fun. It's more now onto the fact that I don't even think they listen to anybody. I'm not even joking. I don't think they listen to anything anybody said. I think this year has simply been a switch off to listening to any feedback whatsoever and just completely doing whatever they want, okay? Like, and, and this is very, very worrying because if this is the case for NBA 2K20, what do you think is going to be different for NBA 2K21? I think I, did I just say NBA 2K21 first? No. Okay. Well, this is the case for NBA 2K20. What is the case going to be for NBA 2K21? If they've been lazy for three years not to hire a community manager, which, by the way, I want you to actually think about that and take that in. Three years since a basketball game, which, by the way, is a complete monopoly of the basketball game genre. Therefore, they get millions and millions and millions of users. Don't hire a community manager. Like, something isn't adding up here. I don't know if I just don't know how to think properly or maybe I just haven't got enough sleep lately, but that doesn't make sense to me. And when he tweeted that, I didn't think anything of it. But then I thought about it. I'm like, wait, LD's last time as a community manager was like at the beginning of 2K18, end of NBA 2K17. And now, and now there's not a community manager in sight. Now you got the executive of Take Two stepping down. You got all of these bad reviews coming out about NBA 2K20. The gameplay's broken. People aren't having fun. People aren't happy. You had that whole take on the whole gambling casino thing, which I didn't really agree with. But nonetheless, a lot of heat is coming to NBA 2K. A lot of heat. The game isn't enjoyable and people are not happy. And a lot of people do not want to play NBA 2K20. So this is, this is really worrying. This is actually very concerning. And I thought about this. I'm like, okay, 
So, so LD2K, who actually works for the game, goes ahead and he deletes his tweet, right? Basically admitting that the community manager isn't a thing anymore. So are there people who are higher up controlling what LD can say and what LD can't say? To me, that is a little concerning. LD can't even be transparent with the community without being punished. He's being told to delete his tweets and I don't even imagine what else he's being told. I wouldn't be shocked. I would not be shocked if Ronnie 2K is told to act like a complete idiot to gain attention for the game. I read this comment the other day on one of my older videos about 2K and he said, bad publicity is good publicity. And I thought about that. I'm like, nah, there's no way with the hate NBA 2K20 is getting, there's no way. But I, I'm starting to think it's true. I'm really starting to think that's true. I'm really starting to think that Ronnie 2K LD2K and everyone else who works at 2K has no control over what they say, what they do, what they tweet, and they're being told what to do by these greedy, greedy people above 2K. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but think about it. What person like Ronnie 2K, right, is going to come out and lie about everything, like lie about literally everything, and then LD2K now admitting something that none of us knew, which is a big thing to know because no one tells us anything. That there's not a community manager and now all of a sudden the tweet is deleted i asked him why he deleted it no response so i'm not too sure what to say anymore i think there's a bigger problem at hand for nba 2k in the franchise in general and i think nba 2k 21 is going to be a very interesting situation but nonetheless those are my thoughts hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave your opinions in the comment section below i'm really curious to hear what you guys think about what i just said but nonetheless Go ahead, drop a like in the video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have to burp, so I'm going to get off the mic. Peace.